What's up, everybody? It's your favorite Dan and Dan and Dan and Dan and Dan and Dan and favorite nerd. And today we are looking at TFC's Cyberjaw, and uh, this is from their Siacon set, uh, which after their Hades set, I shouldn't even be in on, but I am because I have no sense. I have no sense. So we'll be looking at them. And so far, to be fair and honest and true, and myself. The individual bots have been kind of fine. They were fine with the Hades set, and I'm hoping that they'll be at least fine here, so it won't be a total <laughs> waste of money. All right, so let's talk about accessories. I, 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 I kind of miss you guys. I've been away. I, you know, I was doing video a day for a while, and now I've had to cut back again. And I, I feel like we haven't had our, our special moments. But let's set him aside. We'll have a special moment right now. We'll make up for it. We'll do quality over quantity, like I wish some of these companies would do. So we have this bit of business here. Um, which is its combiner port uh, bit. It does stuff and things because reasons, and we'll look at it later. We have a uh, combiner foot. Now, I'm going to talk about this a little bit. So it comes in package like this, right? That's a little loose. But you can spread the toes out. You can spread these. Uh, these come untabbed here. And I'm just going to say, that is a wide foot. That gives me a little hope that this thing could end up being fairly stable. It does a lot more uh, bells and whistles and so forth. We'll be talking about that in a bit when we get to uh, gun mode. This is a little strange, though. Oh, there we go. Okay, so it's on like a double hinge. So, it's, it's nice. It's good. This is good. This is promising. I like it. I like it a lot. All right. We have two swords. And they are uh, kind of what we come to expect from this line so far. They're pretty much on par style-wise. Just pink plastic with this silver paint. Somebody will correct me on the hue of pink, I'm sure. But that's neither here nor there. Let's talk about this fella. He has a jaw used to call her Jawbone! That's a house party reference for those in the know. Pardon me. It's on a hinge. Uh, double hinge, actually, and you can drop it all the way down to there, which is absurd. But truthfully, I think it's only intended for here. Now, what I'm sure they didn't intend is to splotch paint, it looks like, on both sides, but especially there, which is a bummer. Translucent eyes, translucent plastic here, translucent plastic here, which prevents you from moving this. You can take some of this stuff out, but I don't think, I don't even think, I guess you could go like that. Move these around and open that up a little bit, but I, I don't think it's necessarily intended, but you could work your way around it. Fake it till you make it, girl. DM me on Instagram. Don't do that. I'm married and happily, happily so. So we have a, a swivel here. I just hear people say it and it does sound cool. We have a swivel here. We have a hinge here at the uh, at the shoulder for the shark arm, which is ridiculous, but we, we're okay with it, right? Because that's the design of the character. And then a hinge in and out. So it's like a, it acts like a universal joint, although it isn't. Still performs the same functions, which is good. Articulation is crazy. Uh, elbow gets you 90 degrees on that too, so that's nice. And this hinges as well, so for pictures or posing or whatever, you can have it kind of suit your fancy. All the fingers are on this same hinge knuckle here, or swivel. I guess it's, I guess it's really technically a swivel. And you can uh, adjust these claws that you see fit all three, and that's nice. They are sharp, so be mindful, children. And these are on ball joints, so you gotta just be careful when you're posing it to make sure it looks good. But it's not too difficult. The purple translucent looks good. I'm not a big fan of the translucent in this line, which they didn't do it, but it does look good for what it's worth. FWIW, as the kids say. We got these uh, hips here, ratcheted, so that's nice. And then the bicep swivel acts as a thigh swivel. And then we have the elbow, which acts as a knee, destroys, <laughs> utterly destroys the sculpt, but it is there. And then we have the purple paint accents kind of throughout. We got a little bit of a toe hinge there too, if, if interested. The tail is interesting. So it's a hinge attached to a peg which allows a, a slight swivel. Now you can swivel it to the nth degree, so to speak, but it actually starts to remove the peg from it. But you can just take it off L to tau as well. Um, and then all of these here are on uh, hinges, uh, which 
it's it's good. It's it's not hateful. It's fine. It's it, it allows for good up and down movement. Nothing really side to side. But it is a cool sculpt, and then these articulate as well. So there are plenty of options. I think for like a beast, you know, a beast mode type character, I think this pulls it off fairly well. The only thing that's really limited here are the, uh, you know, and you can you can cheat that if you want, and untab them. It's just not intended. But you know, you can bring those out, and I think that's. I think that's okay, isn't it? I'm not entirely sure, but either way, it's not the worst thing we've ever seen. You and I both know that. So we're gonna go to leg mode first. So flip these around here. It's not a good tolerance there, FYI. And that'll allow you to flip this whole hatch with the upper jaw back. Uh, split this, split these, come around to the underside, open these up, which brings us to these fins. Now, you can, if you pull just right on the sides of these, you'll get one ratchet click. That's all you need from one leg. There. It was on that one. That'll do. So, spin these around and then articulate them if you need to. You may not. I don't think you do. Just to get them around there and then fold them to the back. Same on the other side. Then you take this piece, which we talked about, and let me make sure that it's, I have it on the right side. All right, I think I got it. And you want to plug that in here and then close this back up. And then, I don't really know exactly, I guess like that, just fold these back in. And this is feeling pretty solid, I must say. And then this actually clips on the sides there and that holds it together and that's really reassuring it feels solid now you know we've we're not expecting much here right because we haven't like we've talked about we haven't had a great TFC combiner to date but this does feel good and then the rest of this is really just cleaning it up so you just fold this back down and then this I guess it double hinges yeah double hinges up and collapses and then you can fold this bit down this tail here is going to be open just collapse it and then kind of slide it in there and it does fit well it is designed well in that regard and then ratchets the legs forward and take the arms and that peg there goes into that slot in theory there it is same for the other side it came undone but that's that's it then you can take this, this might have a, yeah, open that up too, that's your combiner port. So then you take this, and you take your foot, and you got peg, and hole, and then the same corresponding here. And that feels superb. This might be the one, ladies and gents. That feels good. You spread these toes out, Mac. Let the sand get in there, you know what I mean? That guy knows what I'm talking about. Looks good. It's clean. It's secure. This, all right, so when I did the Hades one, the first foot gave me a really bad feeling. This is the exact opposite scenario. It gives me a really good feeling. We'll see if it's deserved, but this feels good. Now for weapon mode, uh, we have to take this piece off. So we open this back up, take this out, uh, and then we, we can just get these arms out of the way because they got to be reconfigured anyway. Remember, one ratchet should give you enough room to get this fin out. And then you can go ahead and put this back in. 
close it up. Now, I'll get this out of the way. Get the tail out of the way. You just got to get stuff out of your way. It's not a big deal. Don't worry about it. Get these down. Bring the shark head back down and up. The bottom jaw you got to sort out. And interlock these tabs together. That's good. Clip this. Let's try that again. Let's, let's uh, not do any shortcuts. There we go. This is, this is, I'm feeling good about this one. You guys feeling good about this one? So there we go, which brings us to this, which we haven't talked about yet. This is another accessory, and it's pretty cool. Uh, I don't have it closed quite right, but uh, it comes like this, has the silver teeth on there. This little uh, pin there kind of gives it the illusion of an eye for a fish, like it's a fish biting the barrel, so to speak. Dorsal fin comes up. We'll talk about it more when we get to robot mode, but we're going to open this up. We're going to flip the barrel out. We're going to push the handle also out and flip that all the way around to the back. And then we're going to utilize this same system here and we're going to plug it in. We're going to hope anyway. Very tight, but that should do it. Close this up, close this up. Then you bring the arms around and have it so that the arms hold the fish thing and then these uh, I'm not sure, I couldn't, I didn't see a way for them to especially, sorry about that, lock into position. I guess it really doesn't matter. We'll take a look in a minute. All right, so then this flips up and over the top, or actually this, yeah, it comes down here like that. And then we'll get the base ready. We're going to open these pieces up again on those double hinges like we talked about. We're going to open up these and flip out these guns. And we're going to do the same thing here. We're going to take these off just for the time being. Just believe. Uh, I don't want to break it. Let me see. All right, mine was just stuck. Sorry about that. Flip this up and around. And then these come up. Now, you need to take this piece, which we talked about before, and enclose, encapsulate it with those. I think from there you can take these pieces and you have a couple options here but I think they suggest putting them on the side like that and then get your shark open up this piece this is the ratcheted joint and then that Connects is a sliding connection too. I didn't know that. And there, and there it stands. Uh, I'll get it cleaned up. We'll take a look at it. Look, I'm not gonna lie to you. That's pretty impressive. Like it's cool. It's it's a, like a good modern homage to like the 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 gun station from the the G1 toy. Like it's just good. It's it's smart. It's well thought out. It's clean. I think in the instructions they have this. Sh <laughs> Sorry, this turned around the other way, but it, it doesn't really matter. Whatever suits your personal opinion. I kind of like it. I think like that. But um, yeah. And of course, untabbed here, you know, from these things, and that'll be for the handle for uh, the combined mode to hold. All right. So now we're gonna get to robot mode. You'll be familiar with some of these steps. First, we gotta get that sorted. Close that back down. Uh, we can untab the gun which was in there. I tell you what, we're just going to open this up. No, we can't even do that. Ugh. There we go. Unhinge there. Open this up. Take this piece out, and we're done with that for the time being. All right, so you can get these out of the way. And we're going to get the legs 
down. So to do that, we open up here and here. Open up the arms here and here. These side portions uh, end up becoming the feet. And what else do we done, Tab? I'm sorry, I just open that up there. Good. That should do it. That should unlock everything. Rotate the legs down. This becomes like a, a makeshift foot. Uh, it's not the best. It's not the best by any stretch of the imagination. And then this comes back around and fills in there. And you can close that up. So you spin it on the ball joint and then collapse. And then rotate it in. Close that. Close the foot. And you can then, these are like seeker feet. Bring those around. And then, same thing we did before. The fins sit on the inside. And then these claws can come down. For the top half, you can collapse this get the shoulders up a little tight uh, let's see hands flip open all right we'll come do that another day and let's see what else we can do all right so we got to clean up all this so this collapses and then you got to turn this on this swivel here so that it will collapse nicely very stiff joint here and be careful because you can get a lot of torque there and then You'll see you can't fold that down right, so it's on a ball peg here, so turn it around completely, and then that will sit more flush up against the back. Uh, you can then take this whole section out. I guess you should probably do this before. Flip the head up. There. And that's a little strange. I wonder, there's got to be a, there's a flap. Yeah, good. There we go. All right, oh, we can flip the knees up. And then, this hand's in there a different way. That's probably part of the problem. Oh, ugly, ugly. Let's see if I can't get a screwdriver, get this other hand out. There we go. And then you can tuck the claws up inside. And I think that's it. I'll get them cleaned up, we'll take a look at them. Okay, so as you can see, he holds his swords just fine. And we'll remove those. We'll check his gun. Holds that well, as well. So all that's good. And I'm sure he can probably, let, you know what, let's just see, since we're here, I'm not sure. These little side guns. Yeah, he'll hold these little side, side arms as well, at least in this hand. Might as well check in this hand. Yeah, so pretty cool. Uh, it, it, this this isn't a great fit here, but it still works. All right, let's talk about them. So the head is on a ball peg, which we already knew. Uh, great up, good down. It's actually on a ball hinge, uh, ball peg on a hinge. So you get up, and then you also get all the way up to there, which is pretty good. Look at that paint. That's a paint mishap there. Oh, no, no, it's not. No, it's not. That's that's sculpt. I'm sorry. It's good. Uh, sculpt down. We have light piping, which I think is antiquated and doesn't have a place in the modern world, but that's fine. That's the decision they made. Swivel's fine. All that stuff works well. I like the proportions on him. I think he's pretty clean overall. The uh, shoulders here, ratcheted, as we've already seen. And then you also got a hinge here that's obnoxiously tight. But, uh, oof, but the range is there. Bicep swivel, double, is that a double joint? Technically, yes. Double jointed elbow, it is very ugly, but a double jointed elbow and get you the full Monty. Wrist swivel, that's very tight also. 
detailings and stuff look good throughout. Not a lot of paint, but where it is, it's, it's pretty well done. Uh, articulation is the same for the other side. Hips, ratcheted universals both ways, so that's good. Thigh swivel built into the bottom of the universal. Double jointed knee, getting you, I, I say, just about 90 degrees, maybe just a hair shy, but pretty close. Uh, feet, feet. We have this here, which 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 hides the sculpt of this ugly foot. This foot is weird and ugly, uh, but you know it's not like you can't work around it. You get the ankle rocker by kind of manipulating this, but it's not great. And then the tilt as well. I mean, you can cheat it to get what you need, so it's technically functional, but but definitely it's where the design ultimately falls a bit short. Um, the back of the figure cleans up surprisingly well. Uh, I don't know. I, I like this. I think it could use some more paint and stuff, uh, some more detailings. Like up in here, it looks like a prime place for it, so to speak. Uh, waist swivel, that's there. But yeah, overall, not bad. This, I wish this all sat a bit lower, but that's, you know, what are you going to do? You win some, you lose some. I'm, I'm, I'm okay with chalking that up. But yeah, pretty good. So there the two are together so far, and they both look great. They really do. They both look fantastic. The only thing that um, I can say that they both kind of suffer from is look all that pink, all that green, all that purple, all those blank canvases that they didn't add that paint to. Same with the blue. It just, you know, it just needs accents on both. All right, so let's get to arm mode so we can get out of here. I really am enjoying this toy so far, though, I must say. All right, so flip these. Uh, actually, you can leave those there, I think. What we got to do is we have to get this back uh, how we had it. In a, in a lot of ways, you know, for the prior modes. So flip the feet around, you can flip these around, but you can leave the fins out. Uh, open this up, and then you can open the jaw because you gotta collapse this. And you can close this up as well now. Same for the other side. Bring the foot out, spin it around so it can build the flank of the of the arm, the forearm, I guess, to be specific. There we go. Now, uh, let's see. We can do this, but I don't have the hand handy. Stop it. We'll uh, put this in here. Yeah. And then we can close this up. And lock those pieces together as well. Now, here... We'll get this up out of the way for a taste. We can bring this around and that locks uh, those pieces together there. Now let's get all of our prep work for the upper half done. So get these claws out and then tuck the hand back in. Same for the other side. And then we can also uh, open this up and we can open this piece as well. And you want to bring this, you can imagine, right, bring this because this sucks to try to move that. So just imagine that's there. <laughs> Not a big deal, I don't think. Tuck that in. Close this up. I'm sorry. Here. And then the combiner port would be sticking down there. Turn the bicep swivel so that this can tab into itself. And then you just rotate these up. And 
you extend the waist like um what you call there, there there's the elbow so that's pretty cool so you can see that but we're not fin we're not quite finished yet I'm getting ahead of myself uh, the tail goes down and just sort of sits there you can have any you can take it off there's any configuration you can probably think of uh, this piece folds around and then locks into there to kind of solidify that um, no I'm probably forgetting some oh this locks in down at the bottom that holds the hand and yeah I think that's it. So, pretty cool. I, I don't have any. I don't have any issues with this. It does a fine job. Pretty good. I, like nothing. Like this feels like this feels a little incomplete. How these two panels don't quite line up. Um, I, I had to look at it because I thought I was making a mistake. So just to, you know, I don't usually show instructions and stuff like that, but they show like the finished piece and you see same gappage. So that's a little strange, um, especially because it's so close to being so, so well done, but still, you know, where is that joint? That's going to be tricky. You know, not, not a bad design. I like how they don't, they're not using the hips for the elbows. I like that. Pretty, pretty, pretty good. And then if you wanted to have them straight armed, you know, you can collapse it so that you know it might help with the proportions a little bit. I think. It, I think. It, I don't know. I don't. I don't want to speak too soon. Final thoughts. Why something I want to say right from Jump Street before we get too much further is that I haven't got a new transformer in a long time, so I might have a little bit of. I might have a little bit of new toy joy kind of going on, but I'm going to try to stay as unbiased as I can because I really like this. And it's TFC, so I didn't necessarily expect to like it, but I do have to admit I really like it. But what are the problems? Because we know it has some. Yeah, it could use a ton more paint, and there's a ton of places for it. There's all sorts of sculpt detailing here in the shoulder. There's all sorts of sculpt detailing here in the chest. It really could have used some paint. There's not a lot of paint here. Where it is applied, is applied mostly well with the exception of the shark face, but overall it needs more. There's no excusing it. It needs more. It's $100. Step it up. The feet are weird. They're strange. There's no getting around it. Once you get it posed and stuff, you'll be fine. You won't worry about it. But it is a bizarre kind of thing. It's like there's so much engineering there, and yet it still fails to kind of clean up the way you want it to and, and, and be as kind of not sturdy. That's the wrong choice of words, but kind of just put together and secure maybe. Uh, so that is a, is a big, is a big kind of, yeah, for me as well. And I think, uh, the days of closed fist five millimeter ports are over. Get with the times. They're over. Let it go. They don't exist anymore. Get, get it out of here. I don't like it. I don't trust it. Get it out of here. But other than that, uh, I, th I think that, that pretty much covers it. The sculpt kind of works. It's in that same kind of Warbitron-esque vein that we've been seeing with the with the last couple TFC releases. The articulation is good pretty much across the board on everything. The foot mode is insanely secure. The gun mode gives me all sorts of G1 nostalgic feels. And like we always talk about, like a lot of us are kind of chasing that that feeling of being a kid and having something that has the playability with the with the kind of design offering that an adult would would be, would be, find appealing, right? And and this, I gotta admit, you know, I don't cut TFC a whole lot of slack. I gotta admit, this does it. This does a good job. There's a good chance here that this is my favorite TFC piece to date. I really think had they had they locked down that foot a little bit better, the the robot foot, and had they added a little bit more paint to this, a lot of more paint to this. But to be fair, a little bit wouldn't have hurt it either. I would have been blown away. I'm still kind of blown away. This is a really good toy from my perspective. I think they did a good job. I also, I, I didn't mention there's some tolerance issues here, uh, like the squeaks and stuff. We kind of saw that along the way, right? So it's, it's been mentioned, but it's, it's good to reiterate that sort of a thing in, in, a, in a final thought kind of format. So uh, before we get out of here, uh, let's see how I can say this. It looks really good. This was a really fun toy. Uh, it, it, was, it was fun. I have to admit that. This was fun. I enjoyed all the modes here. 
uh, and I enjoyed getting to them for the most part. So kudos for that. However, combined mode is still going to bother me. These are heavy bots. Uh, it's going to hold a gun, which is going to be extra weight. Uh, the hips on TFC combiners are not reputable. So the combined mode does still worry me, but the feet make me feel a little bit better. However, can the feet withstand the weight? Time will only tell. It's like that game Bean Boozled. Have you seen that? Like where you eat the jelly beans, but you're not sure if it tastes like, uh, you know, like licorice or dog poop or whatever it is. Um, my daughter had a bit of that recently. Go ahead. <laughs> no, no, drink your drink out of there. You need five shoes. She already did three. Did you get peach? Mm. That's for sure. I got peach. <laughs> I got lime. My mm, is good. Mmm, it's so good. Mmm, can I have another one? Me love it all. Me love dog food. Me. I really truly thought she was going to throw up too. I felt bad but couldn't stop from laughing. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. Until next time, take care.